Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Miami Heat star Jimmy Butler makes final decision on trade demand, report. For the Miami Heat and Jimmy Butler, the latest bit of news about the future of this partnership has the feel of an employee who tells the boss they're quitting just as the boss is ready to fire them. Shams Charania of The Athletic reports that Butler will not sign an extension with the Heat, or with any other team for that matter, this offseason, and is prepared to go into what might be the last year of his contract, leaving him open to free agency in the summer of 2025. On the one hand, it is a big decision and removes a potential sticking point between Butler and the team. On the other hand, from the viewpoint of the Heat, it's not such a big deal. They were not going to give Butler a hefty new extension, anyway. Butler has two years and $100 million on his current contract. But the second year is at a $52 million player option, meaning he could play out the 2024-25 season in Miami and hit the free agent market next summer. There was talk, too, that he would seek a trade if the Miami Heat would not commit to paying him now. Butler will be 35 in September. By putting aside a potential demand for an extension, some of the trade chatter around Butler, who was linked to deals with the Warriors and Sixers, can now ease. His decision to play out next season commits him to Miami and clears up any notion of a trade demand due to the lack of an extension. Butler has an affinity for Miami and has wanted to stay with the Heat, league sources said, Charania wrote. After leading the Miami Heat to the NBA Finals in 2023 despite earning just the number 8 seed in the East, Butler must try to bounce back from a disappointing season in 2023-24. He averaged 20.8 points, 5.3 rebounds, and 5.0 assists, the fourth straight season he eclipsed the 20-5-5 plateau, but played only 60 games and failed to earn an all-star spot for the second straight year. Butler played only 60 games this year and injured his knee during the Heat's play-in game before Miami faced the Celtics. He missed the entire series, which the Heat lost in five games. Concerns about Butler's age, health and price tag under a tough new set of NBA tax rules, the Heat had been careful about avoiding the tax in the past, made the prospect of Butler getting a new extension from the Heat or anyone else unlikely. After the playoff loss, team president Pat Riley, generally a staunch Butler supporter, had a public rebuke of Butler that fueled speculation about the player's long-term security with the team. Riley rebuked Butler for trolling the Celtics and Knicks as they advanced in the playoffs, saying the teams would be at home if he had not been injured. For him to say that, I thought, is that Jimmy trolling or is that Jimmy serious? Riley said in May. If you're not on the court playing against Boston, if you're not on the court playing against the New York Knicks, you should keep your mouth shut in your criticism of those teams. Riley insisted at the time that he had no plans to trade Butler. But he also was in no hurry to pay him more money. That's a big decision on our part to commit those kinds of resources unless you have somebody who's going to be there and available every single night, Riley said. That's the truth. We have to look at making that kind of commitment and when do we do it. We don't have to do it until 2025, actually. Miami Heat fans criticize Pat Riley after Paul George signs with Philadelphia 76ers. Miami Heat fans had a hard time sleeping early Monday earning. Hours before sunrise, the Philadelphia 76ers pulled off a major move by acquiring Paul George from the Los Angeles Clippers in the middle of the night. It didn't stop Heat fans from expressing their displeasure with the news. They were on social media posting about the move, placing most of the blame on Heat team president Pat Riley. The Sixers signed George to a four-year, $212 million deal, pairing him with Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey. With this trio that now includes a healthy Embiid, Philly ranks up there with the favorites in the Eastern Conference. In Embiid and Maxi, they have two all-star type players, while George is still capable of producing at 34. The George signing was the second major acquisition in the East. 
On Sunday, the Orlando Magic agreed to terms with guard Cantavius Caldwell Pope. He will better a Magic team that won the Southeast Division last season. Orlando already has one of the league's top frontcourts in Paolo Banchero and Franz Wagner. Adding Caldwell Pope's championship pedigree, he won titles with the Denver Nuggets and Los Angeles Lakers, only helps. Which brings fans back to Riley. This could mark the second straight year the Heat failed to get better while their competition used the offseason to improve. Last summer, the Boston Celtics added Chris Tapps Porzingis and Drew Holiday. It resulted in the first championship of the Jason Tatum Jalen Brown era in Boston. The worst part for Riley is the Heat have limited flexibility in terms of chasing a big-name free agent to enhance the roster. It's up to him to find a suitable trade, most likely Tyler Harrow or Duncan Robinson, that leads to improvement. If not, the Heat will enter next season with the same core for a third straight year and possibly spending it looking up at the rest of the conference. NBA Rumors Heat to face stiff competition for crucial free agent. The Miami Heat have a crucial offseason and free agency incoming as besides players like Kevin Love, Caleb Martin, and Thomas Bryant all opting out of their player options, the other star they are hoping to stay put is Haywood Highsmith. However, it will not be an easy process as he is expected to receive interest from a bevy of other teams in the league. Free agency in the NBA is set to begin at 6 p.m., EST, Sunday, where Miami and other teams will look to persuade Highsmith into a new deal for the 27-year-old star. While a deal with the Heat is likely, there is also some stiff competition from other teams in the association according to Michael Scotto of Hoops Hype like Eastern Conference rivals the Philadelphia 76ers and more. However, Miami is expected to have stiff competition for Highsmith's services on the open market, Scotto wrote. Teams with significant cap space, including the Detroit Pistons, Charlotte Hornets, Utah Jazz, San Antonio Spurs, and Philadelphia 76ers, are expected to register interest in Highsmith once free agency begins, league sources told Hoops Hype. Several teams with non-taxpayer mid-level exceptions available, Scotto continued. Such as the Indiana Pacers, Sacramento Kings, and potentially the Golden State Warriors depending on the futures of Clay Thompson, Chris Paul, and Andrew Wiggins are also expected to show interest in pursuing Highsmith, league sources told Hoops Hype. In terms of his value, Highsmith could get around $13 million, compared to his original projection of around the $8-10 million annual range, according to Scotto. He has emerged as a crucial part to the team's rotation where he is a defensive stalwart and has shown the ability to shoot the ball from three-point range. Given the expected interest in Highsmith, his free agency value could land him as much as the non-taxpayer mid-level exception, around $13 million, Scotto wrote. Previously, ESPN's Bobby Marks projected Highsmith in the $8 to $10 million annual range. Highsmith is on the laundry list of undrafted players that the Heat have found and developed into a solid player in the league, joining the likes of Duncan Robinson, Gabe Vincent, Max Struss, and Caleb Martin. However, there has been preliminary discussions between the Heat and Highsmith about a return according to Anthony Chang of the Miami Herald. According to league sources, since NBA teams were allowed to begin negotiating with their own impending free agents on June 18, there have already been discussions between the Heat and Highsmith regarding a potential new contract, Chang wrote. The Heat has interest in keeping Highsmith, and Highsmith has interest in returning to the Heat. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Haywood Highsmith? Leave your opinion in the comments.